everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream from your Steam Deck. So first you need to go to Steam and then go to Power and go to the desktop mode. And if this is your first time here, this is what it looks like. Then go on down to the bottom left and go to this little folder called Discover. And then select this and open up. This is the App Store. Now we're going to be looking for something called OBS. This is actually what I'm using right now to record this video. It's very easy to use once you get used to the software. So live stream and record videos. So we can select this now and install it onto your Steam Deck. Then we're gonna launch it. And you're gonna need a YouTube or a Twitch or some sort of a profile to record it to. And you might have like a pop-up screen initially. And you can go through that and connect your Twitch account or whatever account you want. But this is what it looks like. So let's make this full screen. And we'll get the setup and then we can add it to the game mode. So we don't have to go to the desktop mode to launch it or play games. So let's go to file, go to settings, then we can go to our account and uh, we can go to stream right here. We got services on top. We have uh, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Live, Restream, which you can stream to multiple different uh, um, websites at the same time, Twitter, Whip, or anything else, or you can go to custom. So we can go to Twitch right here and select this. And I believe you can just simply connect with your account. And then it's going to open up a web browser. Use your fingers to zoom in because it's going to be a little tiny. On my screen, since I have a 4K monitor connected to my Steam Deck right now, log in. And I believe you should just be able to sign in and you should be good. And you won't have to use the stream key. Otherwise, you'll have to look up how to get a stream key off of your Twitch account, which is relatively easy. It's in the settings somewhere. And this will connect uh, your Twitch to the software. So as soon as you press you know, start streaming, it's going to stream. And then we can go to video. We got the base canvas and the output scaled canvas. And this looks pretty good. But since we're on the Steam Deck, we might want to bump this down to, I don't know, maybe 720 or something like that. So it depends on how it looks on your screen. On my screen, it looks fine. And then uh, we might want to bump up the FPS right here. Uh, we can bump this up to maybe 60 frames per second. We'll go to apply down here. So the output is what it's going to output as. So if we have it at uh, whatever this is, that's what the stream is going to show up as. So just a heads up, what do you have it set there is probably going to be determined how it looks on whatever website you look at. So here it is. Uh, here's the bit rate. Here's another thing that we probably want to adjust depending on our init. So higher the better. If you have good internet, uh, 2500 is okay. If you're going to be streaming at 60 frames per second, you might want to up this to something. Maybe like uh, maybe I'll do like 5000. If you have really poor internet though, like 2500 might be okay. So just get the setup. You can increase the bit rate, and this will be better quality. The resolution is going to be the scaling. Uh, the video bit rate is going to be overall quality. So make sure you have this set up accordingly. And then you got video encoder, you got software. Oh, actually, that's the only option on here. And then we need to go back on over to the screen where we came in. So once we got this set up, we have the microphone on the bottom. You can see the microphone is maxed out with volume. So we might want to bring this down a little bit. So it's in like this middle section. So it's good. All right, so the microphone looks good about right there. So this is the uh, built-in microphone on the Steam Deck. I believe we can go to this and we go to filters. I like adding specific filters to this, like a noise gate and stuff. Uh, so we don't hear a bunch of like uh, sounds in the background, clicks and stuff. So just a simple noise gate, maybe noise suppression. Uh, let's go to this. And then um, a compressor to... So it just kind of sounds like uh, we're on a talk show or something like that. Boom. So there's other filters you can try out on there too. So feel free to add more. It's very easy to add. So I typically like my microphone right in the middle of the yellow section right here. If you have it red or orange, it's going to be a little bit too loud. And here's the desktop audio. This should be like our game audio or whatever. But now we have to add specific 
scene. So I'm not sure the best way to do this on the Steam Deck yet, but if you go to uh, Display Capture, you can simply just capture the display. So let's go to Create New right here. And this, we can just simply capture the, the display on our screen right now. And we can go to Advanced Settings. And then we can go on down. And then go to OK. So just make sure this is stretched over the screen. Otherwise, <laughs> it's not going to work. You can see it looks a little bit goofy. So let's just move this and go to Transform. And go to Fit to Screen. Boom. It's right in the center of the screen. Perfect. So if we start streaming, it's going to restore, uh, start streaming whatever is displayed in this little box. So this is looking good. We got our um, we got our microphone on here. We got our desktop audio. I'm not sure where this desktop audio would need to be adjusted yet. I'll need to test this out with some audio, which I don't have any audio. I could probably go to like YouTube or something like that and start playing some maybe. So let's just open up Chrome. Maybe that would be a good idea. So let's go to YouTube. Otherwise, uh, when you're playing like, um, you know, a game, sometimes the gunshots are a little bit louder. So you want to know kind of how that is. And you just get an understanding of what it is like. So let's close this down. Let's go to a video here. Let's go to one of my channels. Your six gaming. And I don't have to worry about copyright or any stuff like that. And here is my channel. I click it and go on down and I'll play a video and that audio should be playing in there. I don't know if this is picking up. Nope, it's not picking up in my OBS on my computer, but let's go here and play this video. Okay, and it looks like we got an ad. And you can see uh, the ad is playing in the background. This is the desktop audio. And I can see it's right about here. So typically you like your microphone, you know, like 25, 30%, whatever, louder than the game audio. So you can see it's playing in the background. So my audio for my voice is way over that. So that might be good. You might want to adjust it depending on how. But you can get really creative in here. And let me go ahead and pause this YouTube video now since I can kind of see where that audio level is. So let's pause this. Close uh, Chrome down here. So that looks good right there. Now there's other ways that you could capture your display. So I think this is probably going to be the best way on your Steam Deck. So every time you come to the screen, though, like people are going to see OBS when you start, um, you know, or stop streaming. But, you know, it's going to be recording your stream. So you have other things on here, like uh, you can insert an audio capture device. If you got like a headset or something like that, you want to add. Um, you can do that there. Uh, and then you can choose the microphone under this. Well, I can just do this because, you know, maybe some of you are going to be using this feature. And then you can just choose the device right here. And I got nothing plugged in, so it's not going to show anything. Got the internal microphone, but maybe you got like a Blue Yeti or a Turtle Beach headset. You can add it right there. So, and then you got to go to the mixer and you got to adjust this again. So you're going to have your microphone down here now. Uh, oh, here it is. So you got two microphones on here. So you're probably going to want to mute one of them then. So if both of them are the same microphone, as you can see, there's, there's probably going to be an echo. So you probably only want to add one of them. And I believe you can always switch over the default microphone in here by going to the settings and then going to like uh, properties or something like that. And yep, you can just change it over right there. And there's other ways that you can capture the game capture. So we got like uh, something literally called like video capture device. Oh, that's my capture card. Or if you got like a camera set up or something like that, you got screen capture. Um, I thought there's something called game capture somewhere in here. My eyes can't see it. But yeah, there's different ways that you could capture uh, a specific window or a game. I, I believe that's called window capture. If we only want to capture one game. So you can do that there. And, you know, to start streaming, all you have to do is go to start streaming. So you get start recording, start streaming right here. And then it's going to record over to whatever you got set up. So we can close this down. Now, if you want to add this to game mode, 
Otherwise, you're going to have to come to desktop mode and open up Steam and start playing your games, which, I mean, could work. But sometimes, like, the performance in the desktop mode always isn't the best. But you could definitely do that. You could try just going into Steam right here, opening this up, and then start playing a game. And sometimes uh, you might have to put it into the big picture mode. Otherwise, the controller won't work or whatnot. But to add this to the game mode, go to Add Game. Go to add non Steam game. Then find OBS under this list. Here's OBS right here. Go to add. Now, when you go back to the game mode right here, now it takes too long for me to kick back over to game mode uh, because I'm on my, my monitor. But you can go through the list under library and go to non Steam games. And you can find OBS under there now. And you can launch in the game mode have OBS running at the same time as another game. And you can start streaming from there directly. So hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. Did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.